Eric again and go on fighting over these pick and rolls that are tough to do. And, and they just throw it back to Paul and, uh, you know, uh, and, uh, uh, Noah out there and, and their free throw line jump shots. Gibson made some. And, and you got you got to live with those uh, and keep the guys away from the basket. And, uh, you know, that, that was key. I don't think they were able to line up all their shots. You know, we had guys hedging at them and faking at them. Uh, and then our bigs would get back to them. You know, they still got the shots off, but they were, you know, at least challenged. And that's uh, that's a big key for us, uh, you know, to help and recover. Because a lot of times we help, and we don't recover. Last play of the game, blitz up, pick and roll the entire way. That was what you guys drove. Yeah, uh, well, you know, it's, we got the rebound, and, you know, you're, you're up, uh, I don't know, we got four at the point, and two, four, two, two, two. two. And, uh, you know, with the time running like that, you want to run it down, uh, and you want to have, you know, uh, we want to keep the, to set the screen, and he did, because they have to honor him in doing that. And, and Eric uh, you know, got the opening and took it there and, and made him, you know, took a hit and still finished. So, uh, yeah, you know, you're missing those situations, and, you know, you still get to go on defense and get a stop going the game. Mark keeps seem to be a lot more aggressive on the glass. Was that an aberration or something that uh, was game plan? No. Uh, uh, hopefully he could do that. We've, we've been asking him to try to rebound more, uh, and it's tough. You know, he's not the longest guy out there, and what's he? say he's 6'10", I'm not sure he's 6'10", so you know, he's, he's outsized a lot, but he does a great job of boxing out, and, and tonight he was, he was active, he was boxing the guy out, and then still going to get the ball, and we needed that against those, you know, they're long, and uh, you know, they don't even have to jump, you know, we're jumping and jumping, and they're just kind of standing there, reaching over the top of us, early in the game, they were batting some balls off the backboard, but you know, I thought our guys uh, really got after, and you know, once again, DJ in that fourth quarter came up with, uh, some, some huge plays, the rebound and the shot, the shot clock uh, expiring. And that's, that's a sign to me when all of a sudden you're playing well and you're a good team is you don't, you don't start panicking when there's five seconds on the shot clock. You, know, you can still, you don't have to be the guy to shoot it, but you, know, you make an extra pass. Marquise made that one pass to go on for a layup. You know, there's only two seconds on the shot clock. If you look around at good teams, they do that. And so that's a great, a great stride if we can continue that. Coach, with a win like this, what is the, what is your assessment of the team's performance and growth factor? Well, you know, I think for all us coaches, uh, that's why sometimes it's frustrating because we see how well they can play at times. And, uh, you know, uh, we've, been, we've been very good offensively, but our defense hasn't been that great uh, tonight. You know, it was probably a little bit of a reversal. But, you know, still the, the score 99 points on, on the Bulls is, is not bad. Um, but we did hold them under their, their average, which... Uh, if we can play good defense and still score like we do, uh, that's what we've been looking for. Could you talk about the performance tonight? You guys battled and came out with the victory. Talk about what it took to get the victory. Uh, you know, our plan was try to run on them because we know that they they play last last night. You know, they they play two overtimes, and I think so. We did a good job in the first half. Uh, we had a big lead, but then you know they they were playing better. Uh, we. We couldn't make we couldn't make open shots and uh, you know they came close but um, and I think so we were happy with our performance especially in defense uh, until um, at the end of the game and uh, you know good win for us. It's satisfying to get a win against a team like this that's kind of had your number the last few years and just one of those grinding teams that's yeah. not fun to play against. I mean I, I was talking with Tucker you know they they played last night and. Probably what well, they came in town at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and they still play hard. And it was it was amazing to me. And uh, um, you know, everybody is professional over there. They, that's their style of playing. And uh, I think so. You know, we lost five five straight at home against them, and it's it's always nice to win. Can you talk about the defense? Coach uh, emphasized the defensive effort that you guys need to increase in order to be that much better. Oh, yeah, you know if. If we defend, if we get a defensive rebound, then you know it's much easier for us because we can we can open the lanes and we can run in transition to score some easy points. And I think so. That's our game. But, I mean, I, I think so our defense um, is getting better, especially in uh, in the end of the games. You know, I think so. This season we play so many close games that um, we're kind of used to that now, and um, you know we're we coming with some big plays in defense. It's, it's always crazy to play. We know what type of game it's going to be. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be a lot of shots, a lot of running. Uh, you know, it's going to be emotional. Uh, 
you know, I think everybody's team takes that challenge. You know, they're also playing so well, and, you know, and they big to get it going with them. It's, they're a tough team, but they're the best record in the league. So uh, it's going to be tough, but I think we're up for the challenge. Most importantly, who are you going to be game on Sunday? I don't know. Boy, I just want to see a good game. Yeah. I just want to see a good game. Uh, probably can't eat the team, watch the race game fan, but uh, I just want to see a good game. All right, Enjoy. Thanks, y'all. What does it say about the team's performance and improvement? Just got to keep winning. I mean, simple as that. Uh, it's a good win. Um, you know, we celebrate to 12 and we move on. We got to get ready for Golden State. And talk about, you know, your expectations with Golden State. It's Golden State, they're awesome, you know, uh, powerfully offensive team. So defensively, how will you guys contain them? Well, I mean, they're going to be, you know, on edge, you know, losing two games in a row. Um, you know, uh, they lost a tough game tonight to Utah. So, you know, we got to be ready. Uh, we got a lot of offensive talent. A lot of players can get, get really, really high. So we got we to gotta be ready for a challenge. And talk about the total acclimation. How long do you think it'll take for you to, you know, synchronize with everything as far as the team's chemistry? It takes time. I mean, each and every game is going to get a little better. And, uh, you know, nobody's patient. <laughs> right. So, you know, the t time is always the key. Very good. Thank you. Competitive game. You guys held on and fought to the end and came out with a victory. Talk about it. Um, I mean, that's big. We handled our business. They're a really good team, and uh, it's really a clash of two different styles. So the fact that we could still, you know, win the boards and um, play our play our style of ball and get the wins, uh, it's a big step. And talk about the, you know, the competition in the middle between uh, Noah and uh, uh, Gasol. Uh, how big is that? You know, they got some big guys in there as compared to you guys. And yeah, I mean, about what it took to it's overcome tough. You know, that they battle. Can, um, they're really good on the glass, and you know, they're both really good passers. So that makes it even tougher because uh, they know how to use their, you know, size and good position. And uh, just it just took ex extra effort from us, and um, you know, playing a little smarter, denying you know post entries, that kind of thing, and uh, doing it for the whole game. What's your assessment of the team's performance right now? You guys are 28 and 20, I believe, and at this point in the season, how much better can you guys become? I think we can, you know, it's just the little things, but if we do them over the course of a whole game, there, there's so many games we gave up just because, you know, stupid little mistakes. So the more mature we handle things from here on out, you know, we're going to win a lot of games. And talk about, you know, as far as the defense. Coach emphasized that you guys played well offensively, but de defensively he thought you could have played a little better. Yeah, um, you know, they got to, you know, they run their offense really well. Um, you know, everybody knows exactly what they're doing on the floor. They got great chemistry. So, uh, you know, they're tough, but um, I mean, we played it well enough to win the game. So, uh, thanks a lot.